Hey guys, welcome back. This is Larry here. Uh, I would join my, my nephew, um, Jarrell. And we were gonna do a little video here together this morning. Um, Jarrell, you remember what video we were gonna do? Yeah. What we was it? We was gonna do the one where, where you how, how to pack on, on a scuba trip. Yes, how to, how to pack for a scuba trip. But I started doing some um, some of the packing and just preparing to do it and I realized I don't, I don't really want to do that video right now. So I decided I'll do something a little bit different, something that I already did some research on, and uh, it's basically um, apps for scuba divers. What apps sh would a scuba diver need when they're taking a trip? Uh, apps for scuba divers who are taking trips, uh, to basically dive trips. So we're gonna go into that now, and I, I hope you like the suggestions that I have. And, um, and Jarrell, I think you have something to just tell the people. Make sure to like and subscribe. Yes, there we go. So Jarrell helps me out a little bit with my videos from time to time. And one day he will be diving in the waters with me. Um, he just needs to get a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. But he swims really well right now in the pool. So just give him a little bit of time and he'll be there under the water. And the video is going to start now. <laughs> So the first app that I think all divers should have when taking a trip is, um, is something that some of you may believe you could do without. Personally, I can't do without it. And that's basically a diving uh, logbook app. So I use Diverlog Plus. That's the one that um, Aqualung did primarily to support their, their dive computers. Uh, so I use the I200C. Uh, that C stands for connected. So the i300, the i330R, um, uh, there, there, there are quite a few others that, are, uh, that all connect to the, to, the, to the app via Bluetooth. It's a smartphone app that as you can see here on the screen. And it will basically collect different information uh, straight from the dive computer uh, that you would typically have to enter manually into the logbook. And to me, this makes the process a little bit more convenient. Of course, you can still manually go in and enter certain things that may not be um, on the computer stored, such as um, your gear load out, whether you dive with like a, a rash guard and shorts as opposed to a 3 mil or a 5 mil wetsuit, um, uh, the temperature conditions on the day and things like that. So that's the first app I wanted to talk about today um, that I think is, is pretty important for scuba divers to have. And now we're going to go to the next one. And now for the other app. Now, one of the things that's pretty important for all divers to do is have an understanding of the weather conditions in the area that you're going to dive prior to the dive, on the day of the dive, and on maybe the days after in case you have some other activities planned. So you need to have uh, a good weather-related app uh, available. Um, the one that I would typically recommend is called Windy. Now, Windy is a, a nice app. It, it shows you you can get rainfall information, you can get information on the the dust and the air quality. Um, you also could get information on the waves, which is probably the most important, well, one of the most important um, bits of information for divers. And it's a, it's a simple app, works well on iPhones and Android phones, like all of these we're going through on the list, with the exception of one. Um, but this is an app that is pretty useful, and we use it for whenever we do in our dives to check out the information before we go out there just to make sure that we dive in an ideal condition, so at least be aware of what we might encounter. Now, the next app we're gonna get into is actually one of my absolute favorite smartphone applications. And actually two of my favorite smartphone applications are on this list. So we're gonna get into the first one now. And the app is called uh, Seek, S-E-E-K, -E and it's by a company called iNaturalist, as in the letter I, then the word naturalist. Now, Seek is an app that allows you to scan uh, either with the camera on the phone or by uploading images that uh, were taken, not just with your phone camera, but with other cameras. It could be images of plants, animals. Uh, in terms of animals, it could be reptiles, it could be fish, uh, like that French angel fish. It could be uh, leatherback turtles, it could be sharks. And you upload with the pictures that you have, any of the images. And what the app will do is it will run it through some identification software and with the AI and so on, it will tell you the scientific name of the animal that you would have scanned, 
uh, what family it belongs to in terms of the genus and so on, but also the, the habitat, um, the areas where uh, the, 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 um, the, the, the animals have been spotted recently, uh, if it is, um, it's threatened, a lot of different information. And of course, it works for plants as well. Really, really good app. It's definitely uh, my favorite smartphone app. And yes, that's Seek by iNaturalist. Now, next on the list is an app that I use on a daily basis. It's not something that um, I would say is my favorite app, but I use it every single day. And this is the podcast app. Uh, it's native on iOS devices. Um, there are alternatives to this for Android devices, such as uh, uh, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor, and a few others. Um, I mean, I am using this example of Apple Podcasts because it's it's native on the phone when you have when you install the updates and so on. It's it's always there, and um, it's what I'm most familiar with. And this is really for entertainment. Uh, while you're on the trip, you know, when just before you get some rest and so on, in case you want to listen to something, you can download some uh, some good stories for your favorite sports, your favorite uh, technology reviewers, and also maybe some stuff from um, from some scuba personalities. Uh, Patty has their own podcast. Uh, there's Simply Scuba. There's um, Scuba Radio. There's quite a few of them. So you have a lot of options, and I highly recommend having a podcast or a podcasting app on your phone for when you go on your dive trips. Now, the next app is my is my second favorite app, and it's called Skyview. And um, you're going to be seeing some of the images here. Now, Skyview is an app. It's one of the, from the apps on this list, it's the only one that I have paid for. Um, it's available for free as well, but I was so impressed by it, I just had to pay. Uh, now, this is an app that... Um, it allows you, you know, based on your location, you can you take the camera, you scan the skyline, and you will see the different constellations. Whether it be um, uh, Orion, whether it be uh, the canine constellation, you can even see some uh, satellites, uh, planets, the moon, and so on. You see all that by just scanning the sky, and based on where you go on those um, trips, there might be a possibility you'll be seeing some constellations that you typically would not notice. Uh, some people may have never noticed the Perseus um, uh, uh, constellation, and some people may have never noticed the Leo constellation. So based on where you are, uh, this could be a very, very rewarding app to have when you're taking a dive trip. And last and certainly not least, we're going to talk about one called um, Air Allo. Now, Air Allo is a pretty interesting app. Air Allo basically allows you to... Um, to if you, based on the phone that you're using, like if it's one of those uh, newer phones that came out in the last couple of years, like the iPhone 10R, 10S come forward, uh, those phones have the ability to do uh, electronic SIM cards. So based on where you're traveling to, whether it be the Caribbean region, Southeast Asia, parts of Europe, parts of Africa, and so on, you're able to install electronic SIM cards that you can use to get data access and so on on your phone without having to replace your primary SIM card. Um, yes, it's easy to take out your primary SIM card and buy one of those countries that you go into, but there's also it's also easy to lose that primary SIM card. So let's not go through that problem. Um, it's pretty useful. Uh, I would have used similar apps to this in the past, such as the T-Mobile app um, to do the uh, electronic SIM. But Aalo has so many options in one place; it's impossible to not recommend it. So folks, that's it. Those are my favorite apps. What are some of your favorites? Did you like the ones that I suggested? Uh, maybe if you have some that you think that I left out, you can feel free to leave a comment and let me know. Uh, if it is you think that some of the apps that I like are garbage, you can let me know that too. That's totally fine. And if it is you've used these apps and you found other alternatives or uses for them that I have not fully explored, feel free to leave a message in the comments below. I look forward to doing some more content with you all in the near future. Bye, folks.